Hello folks, today I'm going to show you how to set up Sequence Generator Pro for a ZWO camera. And before I start, I need to give a big shout out to my friend Pete, who answered all my questions with this software. He's been using it for a long time, and he can't wait to get me started with plate solving and automatic meridian flips, but I'm, I'm not ready for that yet. I'm, I'm just doing baby steps for now. Okay, Pete? <laughs> okay. That's the first thing you want to do when you open up Sequence Generator Pro is go into Tools and we're going to open up the Equipment Profile Manager. And right now you can see I've already set up my QHY10 camera, so now I want to set up my ZWO camera. So I'm going to click there. And I'm just going to call this profile ZWO. Okay, and then first thing we want to do when we're in here is click on this camera drop down box and you'll see two options for the ZWO ASI 1600 camera there's uh, now this is interesting because I looked at both of them and they both seem the same to me um, I sent the letter to ZWO an email and I'll, I'll see what they say but for now if I click on the first one and I do settings it says ASI 1600 mm cool and if I go to the second one, it, it says the same thing. So I'll just stick with the first one. So I'm going to choose the first one. Oh, one more thing I should add is that you won't see these ASI options at all if you don't install the ASCOM driver for ZWO. And you'll fan, find that on the ZWO website as well. There's two drivers, one for ZWO and another one for ZWO ASCOM. You need that ASCOM driver. Otherwise, you won't see your camera in that drop down list. So let's select one. And when I, I go back to settings, you'll see it automatically defaults to Unity Gain 139, 21. And this, th this USB limit, this is interesting. It says, please turn down USB traffic if no image yet, if no image get. And I'm wondering if that's the problem I was having in Nebulosity. Did I have too much USB traffic going on? I don't know, but it doesn't matter. I'm going to start using this software anyway. Okay, let's cancel this. And the next setting we want to do is I like to set it for the camera to cool down to minus 20 degrees. So I'm going to click down and set that for minus 20. And I'm going to say cool down on camera connect. There's three different options here. You can choose which one you like best. I like the first one best. And that's all I'm going to do for now. I, I don't, I'm not really sure if I need to worry about angle or scale. And pixels, I know, is optional because I tested it already. And the image it created had the exact pixel size that are in the specs for this camera. So I don't need to worry about that. And I'm going to save what I've got for now. Next, I want to set up my filter wheel. So I'm going to click filters. And again, you're going to need to load the ASCON driver for the ZWO filter wheel. You'll find that on their website, too. And I know this one is uh, option one, ZWO filter wheel. And when you click settings, there should be five options in there. And, and, and there is, because that's how many slots my, my camera has. Now I'm going to name all the filters. And I'm going to check the first five boxes. I know the in slot one, I have loom, my luminance filter. Slot two, red. Third one is green. Oops. Green. Fourth is blue. And the fifth is HA. And that is all we need to do for now. I'm going to say save and hit OK. Okay, let's go back into tools and look at our ZWO profile again. I forgot to set a couple of things. Let's click on ZWO. And I want to check this box to use this profile as the default for new sequences. And when I'm cooling down the camera, I notice on Nebulosity it doesn't really need 10 minutes to cool down. I'm going to bring that down to 3. I think it, I've seen it before. It cools down pretty quickly. Let's save this. I'm going to click OK. Click on New Sequence. Do I want to save?
if <clears throat> the current sequence, no. Okay, now you'll see my ZWO came up as the default and it automatically populated my camera and filter wheel. And there's probably a way to connect the equipment automatically when this thing opens up, but right now I'm just gonna click on it manually. Let's connect the camera first. And you'll see when I connect the camera, this should start coming down. That's the temperature. Let me turn on my battery here. I just turned on the power for my camera. And let's see if the temperature is coming down. And it is. Okay, let's turn on my filter wheel. That's connected. And let's choose a directory where we want our raw images to go when we capture them. I've already got a folder set up, raw image capture. Click OK. Let's try a couple of test pictures. Now I'm indoors right now with the cap on the camera, but I'll just say, okay, this is the first row. Uh, we're gonna say we're gonna capture light. You can choose between dark, flat, bias, or light. We'll say light. We'll choose loom as the filter. The suffix, we'll just call the suffix on the file name L. Exposure time, let's make that 10 seconds, and we'll take two pictures for that. Now let's set up our second row. This is really cool because this is how you actually automatically change filters without having to hit a button to change filters. I don't think Nebulosity could do this yet. I'm sure they'll be working on that in the future. So let's call this one red. We're going to choose our red filter for that. We'll call the suffix R for that. We'll make this one 10 seconds also, and we'll take two pictures for that. And this is a really cool feature. You can see the uh, the temperature is still coming down. It's at uh, 7 degrees. It's got to go to minus 20. And if you hit run sequence now to start taking pictures, it's going to warn you that you're not down to minus 20 degrees yet. I like that feature, but well, let's not worry about it. Let's just start taking pictures and see how this works. Hit yes. And you can watch the lower left here to see the status. And it should start populating a progress bar as soon as you uh, complete at least one image, I believe. Okay, and while it's taking pictures, you can close the sequence. It's still active, but if you want to see the images that are coming in, um, of course, I'm indoors, so it's going to look dark with the cap on the camera. And if you want to reopen the sequence, you just click on this button here. Oops, there it is. And you can watch your progress. So it doesn't matter. Personally, I'll probably be running it with the sequence closed because I like to see the images that are coming in. You can still watch the progress in the lower left anyway. Well, let's open it. There it is. So we're, we're complete with the first row. Our luminance is complete. Oh, this is just fantastic compared to nebulosity when you had to sort of just wait for it to finish. Okay, it's done. Switch filters. How nice is that? Dismiss, and we're done. That's all you got to do. That's how you set up your, your equipment and take pictures really fast. See you later.